the alias and the interface in TypeScript is actually the day-to-day -day useful thing. Remember in the 13th episode, we saw this thing. This is the type alias we have created. Why? Because we need to define the type, same kind of type two times, or I can say more than once. So we have defined something like that. So why not let's copy all these from here and paste it inside this. So we have a fruit type, which is an object. And here this type, which is a fruit type, we are giving here in the fruit one and in the fruit two. And this means with, with all these things, if I try to do something like that, since we have defined in the fruit type that all season is going to be the Boolean, it's now complaining. So this is called the type alias. We are giving this type as an alias. And we already know these things. Now, this is good for each of these things but now things getting really interesting with interfaces so what is interface interface is just like type so what i can do i can just turn this type into an interface and i don't have to define then this equal to sign and you can see typescript is not complaining about anything it's all okay this means if i do some type mismatch you can see typescript is complaining so why we have two type of defining the alias kind of thing one is type and other is interface so the type which is like this is restricted just for the alias thing now suppose later you want to add some more property to this fruit how you can do that like you want to create another type with the same name and then you want to say that oh this i want but along with that i also want to have a price which should be a number you cannot do this thing because now you can see it says that hey duplicate identity but see the real magic if i change it to interface interface and I need to remove this absolutely fine this means now fruit interface is extended is now having one more property called price and that's why when we define any fruit it says that hey price property is missing because the interface says that it required the price also that's wow that's really great at any given time we can extend the interface and this is really super and we can add any number of values to the original one there are more power to the interface now suppose with this all these information you want to create another a new uh, you can say interface which is not going to have same name but a different name and i call it mango and when i say mango as an interface i want to actually have all the properties of fruit because mango is a fruit so if you have a little familiarity with the oops concept we can actually extend this interface from the original fruit interface by doing this the mango interface is now inheriting all these properties plus the new property just for the mango. So if I say fruit one, which is a mango, let's change the type called mango. Just by doing that, now you can see this is the, the type of script is complaining that, hey, you need to add the price for the type mango because mango is a new is having a new field called price but the orange the original one is just a fruit so we don't want any pricing for this but can we do this with the types also so let's convert this interface into type and 
with the equal to sign first thing is says that hey you cannot extend any type because types are fixed so i need to create a mango hmm. now in the mango since it doesn't have any name taste color and now type script is complaining but i want to do this thing so what i can do i want to say that hey this mango is actually a union of uh, fruit and the this one the price one so i'm going to use and sign m percent sign which is saying that hey mango is a fruit and price now just by doing this we get the same you can say effect and now it says that hey price should be there somewhere where is that <laughs> price is missing so if i provide the pricing like this you can see type of is happy so the same thing we can achieve but i don't like this feature and uh, the interface looks real uh, you can say descriptive and uh, intuitive also and with the power of uh, actually uh, just writing single thing like uh, uh, just adding the property like this i'm really happy with the interface thing now question comes when you have to use the interface when you have to use the type it's always up to you you can use any one like interface or type anytime but since interface has this kind of functionality where you can actually add any property to any time so suppose you are creating any package where you want to give the user or the developer to the functionality that they can extend the type you have defined in your package then interface is a good thing but if you really want to restrict uh, if you really want to restrict the user to some types of type then you have to use the type alias so i hope this is uh, useful and uh, these are concepts are useful to you so if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the bitfumes youtube channel and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye